I'll just unpack the scope of cooperation here between South Korea and the EU. What are the areas where they can extend this newfound partnership, particularly when it comes to issues like economy and trade? Well, I think the, it, it was the 60th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations. I think it's worthwhile recalling that because since 60 years, both Korea and the European Union have changed uh, dramatically. Uh, you have reported now on the political activities. The political activities would have been unthinkable only a few years ago. But we still continue, of course, uh, work in economic fields mm -hmm. because it's the strengths of the European Union and uh, South Korea and the European Union are strong partners. And they have also discussed this relationship from the security angle. We are in geopolitics and therefore the supply chains have to be secured. There is the issue about high-end semiconductors. The European Union would like to see Korean investment not only in the United States, but, but also in Europe. There's the very successful free trade agreement, which has within 10 years doubled the trade volume between the two countries, but it needs an update. And I think that was also decided because digital trade is missing. A decision was taken to start talks actually um, this year and to come to a, to a quick uh, conclusion. So we see uh, the combination of trade and politics which is, I think, uh, today's geopolitical game.